Texans looked. I watched a couple minutes of this game, and then it was just like doom, doom, doom. And I was like, all right, well, this one's fucking, this one's over. Um, but nothing good going on over there in Texas land. Damian Pierce stocks are hurting he's, right now. He's been absolute dog shit the well, last two hasn't, weeks. They hasn't no, done anything. In it's his defense, the, the team production. has looked right. right. The team has looked absolute dog shit. Yeah, I saw he has like in the last two weeks he has like it's like less than ten yards, but he has like negative six yards before contact. Yeah, I saw. Uh, I saw that. Yeah, negative six before before contact is what he's, which is a ridiculous number. Um. So yeah, Kyle Allen's. I mean, there. I mean, look, it stinks. You got you got what? The good news is, is you got what can be Damian Pierce right over here. This yeah. was certainly part of something that of the equation of. I know, thought I thought we'd see more of this. To right, be honest that you just kind of rear in its ugly head right now, and it doesn't look great. It does. The team looked formidable there for some weeks they were in hanging in some games and now these last couple of weeks it's been like i said earlier sleepwalking man um so hope maybe you can buy pierce on a on a little bit dip down uh because i'm sure anybody who wasn't into pierce is now going to take over their airwaves with a lot of pierce negativity of i told you so and this is why you don't have them but it's like for me understandable and this was something that you knew going in for me it's quite the opposite of I, I saw what he could do on a not even great offense like if we get a quarterback in this thing next year and we get a new head coach and we get this thing moving in the right direction we see offenses turn around really really quickly yeah. um, and Damian Pierce you could say it's replaceable talent because that's what your draft profile said of him and because he was where he was drafted uh, that's fine but I'm i saw everything i really needed to see from him it's just i mean he got five carries this week what do you want you know that you got shellacked and they were sleepwalking fucking yeah. sucks had six targets i mean shit that means he's good right yeah of course got to be a decent target share there uh so you know any any dip on any dip on pierce as the season goes on because i'm sure people will get riled up about it who the other side of the Pierce haters. I'm not even a Pierce lover. I just felt like I had to I go know. to back for him. Oh, you're a bit. Pierce lover. I'm a Pierce. I got turned into a <laughs> Pierce lover because of all the ridiculous shit. Um, but I think you gotta like probably try and maybe not play him if you can. Well, you got Cleveland this week. You got the Deshaun. We'll see what happens. Yeah, but. I, I, I'm probably like if you could play. Like I've been playing Pierce all year in this league, and I, I think I gotta like venture for a wide receiver, like what, like Cor- oh, Sutton sure. or Brandon sure. Ayuk. Sure, or, sure. <laughs> Garrett Wilson got no problem with that. Yeah, just a, um, a lot of people. And you know, and then you know the the people who didn't like trading a first round pick any of any sort for uh, Damian Pierce are like, this is why, this is why. Tell them it's like, when I still got a good player here, I think the value will be just fine. It's just I, I can't see them investing highly in the draft next year on a fucking running back. It, it would He's make sense, but good. a lot of people do a lot of things that don't make sense. So I mean, he could certainly be replaced because he isn't a first or second round running back. I mean, that's really all there is to it. But I understand good. that. But he's I, good. yeah, that to he's me, a good player. It's good enough. I've seen that he's good. Right. He's a good player. He's uh, through the first chunk, seven games of the season. I didn't kill was, him in my rankings. Good, I'm just so. saying, I didn't kill I'm, him in my I'm, rankings. I don't think you can just crush this man because of the stat line on the. No, you know I'm not. I mean? no, 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 no. But the, 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 you can't. You 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 can't just ignore the other games he's had and just say, oh, look, the last two weeks he's looked like dog shit. The, he, we, he right. was we thought he was. Right. John Bauer was like, since week seven. I'm like, you're kind of cherry picking here, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would love, I would hope John comes back on soon. He was he was busy. We were busy we're trying to work that back out, and we could, we've could got a couple of things to recap um, with, with him. Be fun. Yeah. Um, Falcons, Commanders. Uh, Fal- commanders get the win. I watched a little bit of this game. Um, B Rob having a good game. Dancing football is the fucking worst. B Rob is had had a had a nice game. Um, looked pretty good. Marcus Mariota, uh, not not great in this one, uh, but Heineke wasn't super great either. Uh, just a kind of a, a middling game here. Just but a, just a real quick question: Who was the leading rusher for the Atlanta Falcons? Uh, I'm going to assume that it was Tyler Algier. Oh, okay. Just just checking with 54 yards. <laughs> Come on, or 11 carries. Well, no, two more, two more than CPAT. They they split even. And five more than Mariota. <laughs> five more than Mariota. Um, let me have, let me have it. You could, uh, yeah. I mean, so here's the thing. You can have fifty-four so here's yards. The thing, here's I mean. the thing. Here's the thing. You you said last week that you would 
by Algier at cost, which is a two. Yep. So that same price tag doesn't apply to a player like Elijah Mitch or Elijah Moore, whose ceiling is clearly fucking way higher than what Tyler Algier could put out. We're not even sure if we can get an every down back out of this guy. And and we're ready to chop up the two for that one. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I like Tyler Algier. I think he's fine. I'm okay with rolling the dice on a running back who I think's you know got a chance to have have a decent role. Um, but that's I guess you know just to compare things like you know you're safe with a two for for him, but you know no way that you'd give it up for Elijah Moore, which seems to me like I'd rather give up a two for a guy you know who could possibly end up up here. And I'm not saying Algier can't end up. If up there. If, if Elijah Moore changes teams, I might might be seeing a different team. <laughs> Well, I mean, if it just if they just get fucking their Tua Tango Iloa down there, then they can have two guys just kicking wieners. They got two good guys. Um, they any, got some weapons on that offense. Right? Oh yeah, um, Brian Robinson, good. Yep. Um, other than that, not a whole lot to speak of, except for you're you're still down to give a two for uh, Algier. Yep. Live in it, liking what you see. Yep, you're starting them. Mm, nah, hell no, uh, probably not. I don't want to give up the two for Algier. We talked you about this. Drink this. We talked. Yeah, <laughs> we talked about this last week. Like, CPAT's there, pretty cheap, right? Uh, and uh, had a dry throat. Hold please. Like, uh, yeah, probably, yeah, he's there. There's they, they got an out, but it's cheap. There's, there's. I just don't see how Algier's the lead back there next year. I just don't see how they're going to commit to Algier. I mean, I don't, I don't, we just, if he could, if you could tell me he could get 12 to 15 carries, that's fine. I'm fine with that. 54 and he, yards. And catch. I mean, you would hope that this, catches? you'd hope that this offense not, not takes a step week. forward. Have, I mean, have. we're over here in, in Arthur Smith, Mariota land. Hopefully we could do something different next year. Um, wow. That's not, that's not Taylor. Nope. That's a kickoff. Good. Um, good. Good tackle. What were we talking about? Tyler, Tyler Algier. Algier. Mm. Yeah. Matt likes him. Moving on. Matt loves him, and he always has, and that's why he traded the two. He doesn't like Elijah Moore and and never has. That's why he wouldn't trade the two. That's what it comes down to. That's fantasy football in a nutshell. Right. (laughs) We are way behind, by the way. Whether the logic is right on any of that, I don't know. But but I I like my guys. I don't like. Uh, right. There's not too many guys I don't like. Most of like, most I would give up the third. I'd give up a third for Elijah Moore. Yeah, I bet you would, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Raven Seahawks. Obviously, this was the Raider Seahawks. Raider Seahawks. Sorry, uh, the Raiders. Josh y- Jacobs. Um, Woo! Crushed it out there. Um, just a, 303 yards from scrimmage. Just a monster. Oh, what a questionable tag. <laughs> just a monster fucking game. That guy's getting paid. I don't think probably not going to be by the Raiders. They should, uh, but he's the only reason they're any competitive. Josh Jacobs, he's out their there. entire fucking offense looking great, and and, and, and Devontae obviously. Yeah, Devontae's Devante yeah. a fucking yeah. stud. Yeah, it's him and Devontae, and they just their defense sucks. And <laughs> it's great fantasy. It is great, and they've they've won two walk off <laughs> overtime games in a row. Uh, I just why wouldn't they pay this? Like why wouldn't they keep him? You know why wouldn't they? No clue. No. Effort. Yahoo gave me like a two percent chance to win before the four o'clock games and one of my Jacobs. leagues, and Jacobs put up fifty. And they're like, "All right, here's forty percent." Yeah. And all I needed was fucking Najee Harris, six more points, and he goes out at halftime. God. No, 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 damn. no, no. Uh, uh, uh. Anything to? Uh, game. Why does anyone play fantasy? Would you trade a first for Josh Jacobs? He's only twenty four. Hmm. Mm, he's only 24. I mean, why the fuck not? Turns 25 in February. Okay, he'll be 25 at the beginning of the season. Yeah, but he won't be 25 this year. Or young 25, Bo. Mm-hmm. Young 25. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. You probably can't get him for a first at this point. Not I'm not fucking, in the playoffs. I, I'm not fucking giving you to him. On a, on a non-competitive team, I traded him a few weeks ago. I'm glad I did that. Mm, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm grand. I probably would have won this week, but I'm not active. I'm trying not to win. Right. Yeah, I got a couple of those. I just keep winning by accident. Though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I uh, fucking hate fantasy football. Yeah. <laughs> I say that already. I mean, I'm not. I'm not like yeah. intentionally setting no lineup or the worst lineup. Yeah, like, I'm I setting just, the best possible. Right. I'm I setting just, what I think is the best possible lineup, and guys who are over. Yeah. 
All right, Rams Chiefs. You know, I think you can stop watching Rams football this week this year, huh? I already did. Oh, okay. So you didn't watch this one? I was watching Red Zone. What do you think about Pacheco? Mm, nah. Nah? Yeah. Mm. Well, I got to say, he right. looked a little better than the stat Let's line. Go. I mean, yeah, his stats did not. I mean, I, I will say I didn't. I wasn't watching all the game, but his stats just meh. 22 for 67, I think, something like that. It wasn't like that, but there were a couple plays. Like, he looks. Yeah, I will say there's some plays where he looks. I don't know that the, he, the he movement, also ran out of bounds there. The, the movement end, he, he seems hasn't like quite figured explosive, it out. Explosive, but it erratic. Is. Yeah, but the like, jump cut, like when he plants his foot, it's just a little, it's like hasty. Jermichael hasty? It's not like fluid, Shout but it is Michael. explosive. Yeah. And he's a big dude. He's got the speed. Yeah. Talk about, guys, talk about guys who are replaceable. Pacheco? Pacheco? Yeah. They just brought in Melvin. On they the did. practice squad. On the practice squad. But, I mean, I'm sure he'll probably be. They need another running back. Yeah. You can, like, activate a practice squad player three times or something like that Correct. without putting him on. Correct. See what's up with Melvin. Um, but I, I, I like Pacheco. Um, I don't know how much I'd be willing to give up for him. I'm not saying, like, I love him. And he yeah. certainly could be replaceable. But, like, they, they got nothing in him. So, you know, there's two ways you can go there. It's, hey, we got something here. So, Maybe we next year we draft another guy in the same spot, basically. Well, that yeah, um, which was you know basically free. Yeah. Um, or you could you could say, hey, we're just, we want to upgrade that position, but I mean they went that route and it didn't work out with uh, the Cl- the Clyde C E H. Um, so you know maybe they just do a veteran and a, and keep stabbing at guys, but I mean maybe, he, he maybe, could uh, maybe on Josh this J- offense. Maybe Josh excited. Jacobs is on is, is a chief next year. Yurik, I'm fucking just. You said he had 22 attempts. Yeah, for 69 like that, yards. That, to me, is fucking exciting. Yeah, like, the if attempt, the Chiefs sure. could just have a semi-consistent player getting the ball at the running back fucking position, I'm like, they were sign also, me the fuck up. They were, they were winning by a decent sure, amount. For sure. And they were trying to... It, it seemed was, like they it were was trying not to, like, that, It was not Juju. that big of a of a gap for most of that game. It was semi-close. For, it was. They were within two scores. It seemed like they weren't really trying to target... They weren't. Juju didn't Juju, play. Juju didn't play a whole lot. Nicole's out. They're kind of like Tony's out. They're just, Tony's not playing. That's fine. Sky Moore was getting some run, looking decent. It seemed like they were just trying to like you know. They, they I don't the, think left another pun. He probably won't ever get twenty two carries again. I'm I'm uh, I don't know. I I would like to be able to see teams like the Chiefs run and, it like and that the, and be just get up and run the ball and play like every game doesn't need to be. A track meet you get you get in these later games let's uh, he doesn't need to have 22 carries i just need the same guy to be out there and feeling confident that we can give him 15 carries 18 carries um and you know sign up melvin gordon who knows what that means but yeah you know pacheco's at least had a long runway to kind of get to this point and i don't think he looks bad and there's no i don't think he looks bad he just, i just think he's looked kind of kind of average yeah would you trade a two for pacheco On a competitor, yes. Well, I would trade a late two. Just to st- uh, you might not get him. If you have Pacheco, you probably reached for him in the rookie draft. Maybe. Depends, yeah. And I mean, if you drafted early, you didn't have to. Yeah. You drafted early, you could got him for a fourth. Got him on the waiver, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's a Chiefs lamp. I, I could. He, he seems like he's progressed and come a long way from the hype that he had in the preseason. And then you see him get out there, and they're like, "Nah, we're not gonna. We're giving it to McKinnon. We're giving it to Clyde. We're giving it back to McKinnon." Rojo's out there for a second this past weekend. It seems like he's made a lot of progress from basically not playing at all at the beginning of the season. Sure, but how so much you like has, to see I, that? Yeah, you like to see the progression. Andy Reid believes in the talent so he brings these dudes along he he coaches them up like he gets them he gets the best out of these players you know so i think if he could continue to improve and obviously it's fun to take stabs on this offense why, why not i mean what are you doing why not take a stab well, yeah i guess that's the same theory for me as before is like i'm this is a big upside swing and there's worse swings you could take in the second i don't i don't feel one way or another on pacheco I'd be um, much more comfortable giving two threes than the second. Well, for sure. Um, in, a, in a great world. I mean, start with the two, three swap before you go crazy. And then if you want to get further than that, which I don't think most people do, 
Um, but I'm I'm very interested in any any high upside you know player on a high upside offense is is very interesting to me now the Chiefs haven't been great to the running back position which you know history says hasn't been that much fun but of late I if mean you could if you could get a stalwart that guy who's just always holding it down there yeah um, for the most part and they bring in you know what 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 running back at this point doesn't have somebody who comes in and does something different than he does or looks different profiles yeah. a little different than he does pretty much every team has that at this point it's very it seems like positions. a great landing spot for a nice veteran running back and it certainly could be and maybe that's their answer like hey let's stop trying to draft guys we'll keep drafting pachecos in the seventh and sixth, and we'll bring in yeah. bring in you know, jacob a, a or something like that yeah i don't know if they're going to want to pay but those guys would be great money any of those guys would yeah. be awesome there yeah um so I think it's a good point. Uh, you could could certainly be a killer in the seventh round draft pick, which is why most people probably wouldn't want to give that up and take the two instead of rather give the two for Pacheco, which I'm kind of indifferent. I could I, I'd be fine going either way there. Um, don't feel strongly one way or another. But all right, let's. I, I, I'd be, I think my final answer would be I'd be more inclined not to do that move than yeah. not. I think that's fair enough. 